What's going on everybody? ABJ back with banging beers. It's been so long since we've got to put our lips around some amazing beers. Maybe today is one of those episodes, maybe not. This is the new introduction. I'm a flying solo for banging beers for a little bit. I will have some episodes where I go and uh, review bars as well as breweries. Uh, maybe some places that sell beer. We'll go around and check some things out and trying to just keep up to date with some new beer news and stuff like that. Um, as of right now, I really don't have any beer news. This is kind of on the whim. I'm pre-recording a bunch of episodes, so some of these beers may seem like they're older, they may not be available anymore, they may not be around, but needless to say, we're going to try our best to get this going. Uh, this is a whole new format, I'm going to try some things differently. I'm also going to be filming some five questions with ABJ that you may have already seen that are banging beers related, so maybe there's some episodes that will not be full podcast things or video podcasts for you guys to see. Um, but they may be something you can go check out over on the YouTube side of things and check out the uh, full five questions with ABJ. So today we are drinking some of the Mountain Dew Hard Ciders, or not ciders, uh, I believe, I don't know, these, I don't know if they're beers or there's malt beers, I don't know. They're the Mountain Dew beers, we'll just call them. Um, so we have four different flavors we'll be trying here today. Um, we have the Baja Blast, which I believe is like the Taco Bell exclusive Mountain Dew, I, if I'm not mistaken. We do have the uh, Zero Sugar Mountain Dew, which is just Mountain Dew flavor. We have the um, Live Wire, which is, I believe, their orange flavor. And then we have the Watermelon flavor, which is just tastes like watermelon. Shocking. Um, we have them poured. We have them ready to go. And uh, I will be bouncing back and forth here and trying some different things out when it comes to the flow of the show. This is the first one back, so don't be too hard on me in the comments, all right? We're trying. We're giving it a shot. We're trying to bring it back. Uh, so let me just kind of pull up some information here about these beers and what we can, what we can do to, to learn about them. I don't think these are collaborations with anything um, when, it, when it comes to if these are made from another brewery. Uh, I'm going to find this out right now. So we're going to start off with the Hard Mountain uh, Dew Original. So they actually are. They're made by the Green Rebel Brewing Company. Uh, let's find out a little bit about them real quick. I am pulling this up on Untapped. Um, so they're based out of Boston, Massachusetts. And it, it shows that they are most famous for their Mountain Dew flavored beers. And that's pretty much it. So maybe this is a brewery that's just kind of was made uh they're a subsidiary of the boston beer company there you go so we did learn a little bit about that here so they this this green rebel brewing company does just make the the, the uh the mountain dew beer flavors um yeah so i think that's what we got here so uh i don't really know much about the brewery i will do a little more research and figure that stuff out for future episodes but we're just trying here for the beers i am going to educate myself and re-educate myself all the time on these topics i'm not a beer expert i don't know the notes and the flavor profiles and all that fancy stuff i'm just a blue collar dude who likes to drink beers and talk and hang out with friends and enjoy them together so these were beers that i have been looking for for a very long time they're very hard to find in pennsylvania i don't know if that has changed since uh filming this, but I had to actually get these in Virginia. So we were at a gas station in Virginia. I seen them. I said, holy shit, I've been looking for these for a while. I want to try them. Um, I believe they have tropical flavors now and other different flavors besides this original four pack. Um, so if you are in the Pennsylvania area and you're finding this, let me know and find out. Comment below where you're finding these beers so people in the comment section can find them. And let me know as well uh, in, the, in, the, in the threads what you thought of these beers as we go along. Um, so I, I, I do like Mountain Dew. I'm a Mountain Dew drinker. I do like the, uh, I'm a Code Red guy. They have not made a hard Code Red yet. I don't know why. But um, I have, I'll be honest, I have tried these before. These are what's left of my four pack. Um, and we'll go from there for, uh, and, and try the first one. So the first one we got here, I'm going to pull up on screen now, is going to be the Mountain Dew flavor. It does have a really cool eagle. Um, it pours very Mountain Dew color, that greenish yellow. And um, yeah, this is just going to be a hard flavored Mountain Dew. Will it taste like Mountain Dew? Who knows? But let's bring up the untapped here on this one. So this is the Mountain Dew hard, uh, 
a hard Mountain Dew original. It's a five point a five percent ABV uh, flavored malt beverage, so it is under a beer. Um, I have not checked this in yet on Untapped. I will be doing all of my check-ins uh, post filming this, but you guys will be able to see them all. If you want to follow me on Untapped, I am on there. I am under uh, Anthony Blackwell Jr. on Untapped. Uh, I will try my best to get back on there more frequently. Six of my friends have checked this in, gave it about a 2.73, which I think is respectable, right? Like for a gimmicky beer, it's fine. 5.6K check-ins, it averages about a 3.28. Um, it's sweet, citrusy, light-bodied. Citrusy and mineral is some of the uh, pull-ups that we got from this one. Um, not any crazy write-ups I see. Uh, and it's, I, well, Bob, we'll give Bob G some love here from, from the Bang & Beer side of things. He said it's too sweet and surprisingly boozy listed for a 5%. So let's give this a crack. It's like I said, it's already poured. It's already ready. It's already go, going here. So let's give this a shot. Now, normally these Bang & Beers, I'm not going to be doing four beers like this unless it comes in a pack. We'll do a variety pack. So if it comes in a pack, I will do more of them in this style. But I think Bang & Beers, I'm going to stick to like if I go out to a brewery, I'll try a flight or I'll try like their top beer and just review one beer, get in and get out. I'm not going to try to make these two hour episodes, hour episodes, like 20, 30 minutes. That's pretty much all we're trying to do. We're not trying to go crazy. They may be longer if there's a guest where I have somebody on and we bullshit a little bit. That may be something you see. But for the most part, I'm just going to kind of review beers and go from there. But if I have a guest on, maybe we'll get into more conversation and have some fun. So it's, uh, it's cracked. It's ready to go. Here it is on the screen. Uh, I am drinking this out of my Mount Hope Brewfest glass. Um, so if you have any sampler glasses that you would like to send or donate to the, to the cause, let me know. Shoot me a DM and we'll find out a way that you can get it to me or I'll pick it up or vice versa. So I do have a set of these four taster glasses that I will be using more frequently. I did have ones from the podcast, but they're packed away and I don't know where they are. And these are the four I found and I like them. So we're going to go with these. So, all right, crack the beer. We're poured. We're ready to go. Uh, it smells like a boozy Mountain Dew. I'm not going to lie. That carbonation may not be there. We'll see how it is, but let's go. So I do agree. It does have the Mountain Dew taste. It doesn't really drink like the soda. It drinks more like the malt, which is what you're going for, I guess. But it is it is surprisingly boozy tasting, but I don't hate it. Um, maybe my assistant off screen can write this down for me so I can put it in my untap later. Um, she's over there. Uh, Lily going to be helping me out a little bit here today off camera. Actually, here, Lily, here's your here's your reward. Have a have the rest of my Mountain Dew beer. She's going to get fucked up with me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to give another taste here. I'm going to go. All right. So the five scale, I'm still going to protect the four. That's a big deal. Just just sit on the desk. Uh, I'm going to protect the four because that's a big deal. Fours are hard to get. Threes are, you know, I, I really like the beer. Two is average. They're good, but they're not terrible. And anything under the two is like one, you know, I'll, it, it's tolerable. Zero is like, oh, um, I honestly, I think the 275 is fair. I don't think it's close to a three, but I think it's a good beer. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 2.5 on, on this, uh, on this Mountain Dew one here. Yeah, I, I like it though. Like if I was at a party and these were available, I would drink them. Um, you're probably going to have a disgusting hangover because how sugary they are, but it's not awful. I'm a fan of it. I like it. All right. Well, let's get into our next one here. This is going to be the Baja, or the Baja, down here in the Baja. That's a, that's a Jesse Ventura reference. This is the Baja Blast Mountain Dew, once again a 5%. Friends have given this one a 3.39, and seven of my friends total. And then eight or 6.8K have given this a 3.44. So this is closer by the people to more of that four high threes. Uh, once again, uh, Green Rebel Brewing Company. And uh, yeah, let's see how this one goes. This is, let's pass this along to my lovely assistant over there. So this is, uh, actually, let me pass that back. The can we'll put up here right now. It, it's got like a, a shark. The cans are cool. I am a fan of the can art. The, the first one was, I believe, the eagle. This is a shark. And uh, yeah, I think the can art is really, really nice. But it has this tropical bluish green aqua, if you may flavor look to it all right let's go ahead baja blast not as boozy this one has way 
a really, it's not too sweet. I think it's, I, I, I think this is blended really nice. Um, Lily said it's more true to the Baja flavorings that you get from Mountain Dew. I'm going to be honest, every time I go and I get fountain soda, I always go with the cola. I'm a cola guy. I don't know. But uh, I, maybe I'll start drinking a little more Baja Blast. But Lily has just informed me off camera that this is more true to the Baja flavoring than the Mountain Dew original one is. So maybe that's why people are giving this one a higher score. I'm going to give another little whack here. I like that one. I actually prefer this one more than the actual Mountain Dew flavor. Um, I'll give this, I'll give this uh, a 325. 325 on this scale. I'm a fan of this. I think they're all zero sugar. Hmm? They're all zero sugar. Oh, they're zero, and they're also zero sugar. I, it tastes, the first one tasted very sugary, but they're all zero sugar as well, so who knows? I don't know when it comes to food or what's in them. I just consume it. All right, so that's, yes? Oh, 325. Not, I'm not trying to have conversations off camera here. All right, all right. Well, that, maybe that's a bit. Maybe that'll be a bit. Who knows? We'll adapt to it. Maybe people in the comments are like, hey, mic her up. We'll talk to her. Uh, we're we're going to move on. All right, so the next one is going to be the live wire. While you're here talking, do you know anything about live wire? Where, where, is live wire something you can get regularly in the store? Uh, so you can get Baja Blast in the store now. Oh, Baja Blast is not exclusive to uh, Taco, Taco Bell? Bell. Oh, so it's no longer exclusive. I don't know my Mountain Dews. I should be wearing my Tommy Vex hat for this. She, pa yeah, pass me a hat. Let's pass. Let's. Tommy Vex is an independent wrestler. Loves him some Mountain Dew. So we'll put on the uh, we'll put on the Tommy Vex hat today. We'll put on a Tommy Vex trucker hat. I look ridiculous. I don't wear hats like this. It makes my head look huge. I'm doing this for you, Tommy. All right. So we got the uh, hard. Mountain Dew Live Wire. This one's got a tiger on the can. That's kind of cool. I literally like the can. This is probably my favorite can art, I think, out of all of them. Now, I am not an orange flavor guy. I'm not a huge fan of orange flavoring. But uh, so I'm looking at it real quick. They do have a black cherry. Hold on. I'm looking at what else this brewery has made when it comes to their beers. Because maybe they make all of the, the other flavors. Black cherry sounds pretty good. Not going to lie. Sounds pretty good. They make eight beers. So they make Hard Mountain Dew, Baja, the original, Watermelon, Black Cherry, Lime Wire, Baja Blast, Baja Blast Mango in Hard, whoo, and Baja Blast Punch. Not a Fruit Punch fan, but we'll try it. So maybe they're the other flavors that are in those tropical packs. Maybe it's the Baja Blast Punch, Mango, uh, Black Cherry, and maybe they just throw in the regular Mountain Dew one in that one as well. Who knows? We'll try to find that other pack sometime in the future. But right now... We are on the orange Mountain Dew live wire, not orange live wire. Um, another, once again, 5% ABV. This whole cans are going to be 5%. Four of my friends checked this one in, gave it a 3.9, and 1.5 KA people have given this a 3.4. So this is really high in the list. I normally don't like orange flavored things, but this is my Beetlejuice glass. Uh, the, it says uh, Beetle Breakfast right there, and it's got the little beetle chilling in the stool. I forget what he says in the movie, the beetle. Hey, what's up? Does that, like, something like that, right? Say my name, or something like that. I don't know. We're not going to say it three times because we don't need that special guest. All right. It smells very orangey. Let's pass this along to my Vanna White. She's going to get hammered over there. All right. Now, I... I don't like orange flavor, but this is tasty. I do like this. It's very jelly. Yeah, it's um, it's not. It it almost it drinks like like um. I don't know how close this is to the actual live wire if it's on par or not. But this uh, this tastes like orange Jello. Mm -hmm. Like if you had the orange Jello mix and then you make orange flavored Jello, which is not bad either. I like it, but it does have a little bit of a boozy kick to it. Uh, I'm a. Yeah, I think the original is too too sweet and it's not mute. These are nice and muted, I would feel. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go three on this one. Uh, I think three point two five is where I'm at with the Baja, and then this is gonna be a three. So this is second place right now in my uh, in my Mountain Dew beer review for people keeping track at home. I'm gonna give that another whip there. Yeah, I, I enjoy that. I don't like orange flavored things. All right. Moving along, the final beer of the today's episode. 
And I'm going to put it up on screen now. This is the Baja, sorry, the Hard Mountain Dew Watermelon. Uh, this one's got a snake on it, a snake. Um, all right, and this one's going to be watermelon. I like watermelon. Watermelon is a flavor that is very, very hard to replicate when it comes to candy or anything like that because it's it, you can either have that really artificial watermelon flavor or it's true to a watermelon flavor. So we'll see how this one does. I think they made a wet ticket brewing is what they did, but they made a watermelon beer. And the reason why it was on, it was called Ticket, if I'm not mistaken, it's a previous episode, is back in the day you had to vote on a the wet ticket if you wanted to bring end prohibition. And it was called Wet Ticket. So yeah, check that out. That was a previous episode. I still think that was one of the best watermelon beers I ever had. So let's see what the world thinks of this watermelon Mountain Dew. Um, seven friends have given this a 2.46. So not does not break the three, but four uh 4.1k gave it a 3.31 so maybe my friends are just weird um here is my little trogues trogues brewing company out of pennsylvania their little taster glass i enjoy this one um smells very watermelony Show the candy. You didn't, you talked about it. You that's why i filmed the b-roll stuff first okay. see once again talking and, and burying the lead you guys already seen the can but um yeah so here we go watermelon that's a home run I like this one a lot. I I don't know why my friends have given this one lower. Um, this is a three five. I, I, three five. I'm going with this one. This is the best one out of the pack. Is the watermelon? Don't at me. This is delicious. I would drink these all night long, and wake up tomorrow with a disgusting hangover. Yeah, I like that. I like that one a lot. Three three point five on the watermelon um, Mountain Dew. So overall impression, I think if you see this out there and you're a fan of soda, you're a fan of Mountain Dew and you want to give it a shot, I would say it's good. I don't think there's a bad one in the variety. Like I said, I think the original Mountain Dew one, if you try it thinking because, hey, I've had Mountain Dew and maybe I haven't had these other flavors, you'd be like, oh, these, this Mountain Dew one's not great. I don't want to try the other ones. Try the other ones. I think I think the Mountain Dew is not terrible, but I think it's the weakest out of the four. Um, like I said, I went watermelon. Baja, orange, regular Mountain Dew. That was my my lineup there. Um, I think these are good. Definitely give them a shot if you find them in the area. Uh, I think they're fun, fun, fun drinks to have some with some friends. Uh, I would definitely recommend these. Oh, I already have beer burps. Sorry, tacos and beer, and I didn't have Taco Bell. But yeah, so uh, these are these are fun, fun beers. Definitely check them out. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here on Banging Beers. We wrapped this one up under 20 minutes. So make sure, uh, also, new music by the Converse Kid for Banging Beers, which is super, super dope. I, I said, give me some Dropkick Murphy Irish pub music, and he definitely knocked it out of the park. Uh, make sure you go support Tommy Vex. He's a big Mountain Dew guy. Also, uh, check out your local beers. Support local breweries. Support your local bars. Tip your bartenders. And always... Drink responsibly. Don't get crazy. Don't be getting behind the wheel all messed up. Have some fun. You don't need to be a frat boy when you're drinking beers. You don't need to get hammered all the time. Just have fun. Have a couple of beers and enjoy your night. But uh, that's going to do it here for Anthony for Banging Beers Podcast. We'll be back again very shortly for another episode. So make sure you tune in. If there's any local breweries, uh, any local bars, any local spots that you want to want me to meet me at, and we'll record an episode and we'll review your favorite bar, review your favorite brewery. Hit me up. Let's have some fun. Uh, and if you want to partake in these and you want to maybe play a five questions along, shoot me a message. I'll send you the questions. You can answer, film yourself answering them, and I'll post them on the channel. Or don't be afraid to take this idea and do it yourself. Tag me in it. Say, hey, here's my. Uh, banging beers version of this brewery and let's make this a collaborative effort i don't need to always be on camera to review a beer but if you like this content and you like being a part of it anyone can be a part of the team even though they're not physically sitting with me so film yourself out there trying beers putting over local places and send it to me tag us abj podcast we'll see you guys on the next one we're out of here